Ingredients to make homemade explosives. City of Austin officials are trying to make sure that dangerous people aren't able to get their hands on them easily. And that is why the city's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management launched a new program to help spread awareness on bomb making materials. As KXAN Sarah Alshe reports, officials say businesses play a key part in all this in preventing domestic terrorism. Beauty store, salon and spa in Austin always has nail polish remover stocked on its shelves. So this would be where we keep our larger sizes of nail polish remover. A common purchase for customers, but the city of Austin's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management wants businesses like this one to stay vigilant when people buy this in bulk. Bomb making materials are readily available at beauty supply stores, hardware stores, pool supply stores, sporting goods, home improvement, and others. Friday kicked off its new bomb making materials awareness program with an explosive start. Demonstrating an explosion set off by a homemade bomb made with materials that are commonly found in stores across Texas. Fertilizer, hair developer, pool sanitizers, nail polish removal, and drain cleaner. That's why first responders started a program teaching business owners to recognize products that could be used to make bombs and report suspicious purchases. Our retail partners can be the first line of defense, helping to alert law enforcement to suspicious buying patterns and buying behaviors that could be linked to potential criminal or terrorist activity in our communities. Manager Cameron Denton says this was never on her radar. I wouldn't have thought us to be, <laughs> you know, a place where you could get bomb making materials at all. But now that she's aware, Denton says she'll be cautious. And it is such a small space that you would for sure notice if there was somebody suspicious or if they were taking a lot. It's a great way to kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Sarah Alsheh, KXAN News. Austin's Homeland Security and Emergency Management team says it is important to remember factors like race, ethnicity, gender, or religion are not suspicious. People are encouraged to report only suspicious behavior and situations. Staff has hundreds of stores they will connect with over the coming months to educate on this program. And digging a little deeper, the state's iWatch program was launched in 2013 as its primary tool for submitting reports to the suspicious activity. A recent KXAN investigation found reports from Texans of suspicious activity have dwindled over the past couple of years. The governor's office gave three examples of I Watch Texas successes, and we have that for you at KXAN.com under the Investigations tab.